Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wispin here and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Pixelmon Reforged, which is a Pixelmon mod that runs on Minecraft 1.12 is actually created by some of the original Pixelmon developers, so it's pretty cool. There are two different ways that you can actually go about installing Pixelmon Reforged. One is using the regular Minecraft launcher, which I'll go ahead and show you in this video, and the other one is actually using the Technic launcher, which I'm not really going to get into too much detail because it is really simple. Just go to Technic's website, which you can just find by Google technic download technic go to mod packs right here just type reforged into the thing and then you can add the mod pack to your launcher just click play and it should work however you might need to go to launcher options and go ahead to java settings and set your memory to at least two gigabytes maybe three otherwise pixelmon might not be able to run so that's pretty much it for technic launcher not really going to get into it too much i really recommend using the regular minecraft launcher if you can uh but some people have issues with it so they just need to use technic now let's go ahead and get into everything that you're going to need to install pixelmon reforged into minecraft so the first thing you can do is actually visit Pixelmon Reforged website, which is just reforged.gg. It's a really simple URL. All the links in this video are going to be down in the description, so make sure to go ahead and check those out. So all you're going to go ahead and do is click download, and that should open up this page. Now, you got to be careful because some of these ad fly pages, uh, they try to put up fake download buttons. What you're going to actually do is wait for this timer to count down in the top right corner, click skip ad, and that should go ahead and start the download, and then you can close that page. Just be really careful what you click on that that is there so that you reforge your developers can make some money off of ads i'm not really a big fan of it but if you're careful with it it's not really a big deal so just make sure you don't click the wrong download button uh, but there we go it's going to go ahead and start downloading um, now as you can see this is only 477 megabytes uh, a lot of other versions of Pixelmon that came out after the original were a lot bigger than that, so they have really shrunk it down. They've made it a lot more optimized, and it's actually a really great version of Pixelmon. So we're going to go ahead and let that download. It should download fairly fast, but let's go ahead and head on over to the other thing that we're going to need, which is Forge. So this is also going to be linked down in the description, uh, but the URL is right here just in case you just want to type it out. And what you're going to do is make sure you're going to Minecraft 1.12, Point two, and then you go right here and you select Windows Installer if you're on Windows. If you're using a different operating system, I believe you just click right here, but I have Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and click this right here, and that should go ahead and start downloading as well. Uh, I believe you have to wait here, wait five seconds, and then you can go ahead and download it, but it's pretty straightforward. So just follow that through, and it looks like Pixelmon is actually already finished downloading by the time I go ahead and get Forge. So there we go. We got both of our things downloaded here, so let's just go ahead and drag these onto our desktop. So that is actually all you need to download. It's just these two things, the Pixelmon jar and then Forge. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and right-click and click Run as Administrator. Now, you can also just double-click on it, but I prefer doing it this way. So let's go ahead and open that that up and it should open up this little menu here so you're gonna want to install client and if you guys don't know what mercurius is basically it's just a mod that collects data for the forge developers so that they can improve forge i don't really like having that stuff on my computer so i'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that box and then click ok and that is completely it that is forge installed it's really straightforward so the next thing that you're gonna want to do is actually go ahead and open up minecraft we have to create a new profile so that you can actually play with Forge. So what you're going to do is go to launch options and then go ahead and slide this thing that says advanced settings onto true and click OK. Now you got to be careful because if you mess something up here, uh, it could mess up the whole thing and you will you might have to restart from the beginning. But if you go ahead and click add new and then go ahead and type in whatever you want your name to be, I'm just going to call this Pixelmon and then I'm going to select that version that we just went ahead and downloaded, which was Forge 1.12.2 and then the last four numbers are 2555. Now this might change in the future depending on how far into the future you're watching this video, if there's new updates and things like that. Uh, but this is the current version that you're going to want if you're watching this right when I release this video. And then the other thing that you're going to want to do on this page is click this little slider here for JVM arguments. And this number right here, one gigabyte, that represents the amount of RAM that you actually have allocated to Minecraft. And in order to run mods and Pixelmon, you're actually going to need some more RAM allocated to the game. So what you're going to want to do is either set this to two gigabytes or three gigabytes. I'm going to do three gigabytes because I have 16 gigs of RAM on my computer. But if you only have four gigs of RAM on your computer, then you're definitely going to want to do two gigs because it needs some RAM left over to go ahead and run other background things on your computer, like your operating system and all that stuff. Uh, but just to be safe, just try two or three. It doesn't really matter. If one isn't working, try the other one. Uh, but click save and you should be good to go. Now, there is one other thing that you need to do. So what you're going to want to do is go down into your bottom left corner and type percent app data percent. 
and that will bring up this here and you can go to the minecraft dot minecraft folder and then go to mods and then you're going to want to go to just dragging in the mod that you just downloaded into your mods folder now you pretty much want your mods folder to be empty apart from that you can have other folders inside if you have multiple different mods like i have all my old pixelmon versions saved in here uh but basically you only want this jar file in here. If you have other Pixelmon jar files directly in the mods folder, that'll mess things up. So make sure it's empty with just this. And you can also put Optifine in here, but I'm not really gonna go over that in this video. It's completely optional. So let me go ahead and close that and we should be good to go. Now all you have to do is click this little arrow here, go ahead and click the profile that you created, which was Pixelmon and go ahead and run. And it should start up the game and you should be good to go. So as you can see, as it's starting up, it's actually telling you the total amount of memory that you're using. Now, if you did three gigabytes, that means you did 3,072 megabytes. So as you can see, we're not getting anywhere close to that number. So you should be good to go with two gigs. So let's go ahead and join a server and make sure that everything is working. So if you guys do want to join my server, which I definitely recommend checking out, the IP is pokecentral.org. We're going to go ahead and add that join server and we should be able to connect to the hub. And then if we go ahead and type slash survival, we'll go ahead and get onto the server. So let's see, and there we go, it's all loaded up. So if you guys do wanna play with me here on the server, like I said, IP is pokecentral.org. We're gonna be staying on the latest version of Pixelmon Reforged. And uh, yeah, links down in the description to everything that you guys need. Of course, if you guys do need extra help, make sure to go ahead and join my Discord. It's gonna be the first link down in the description. It's basically just a community of over 6,000 people that play Pixelmon and enjoy it. And there is a support channel over there for anyone that needs help. So you can ask questions and get help installing the mod if you do need it. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video. So like always, leave a like if you guys did find it helpful and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos. Uh, make sure to go ahead and check out the other stuff on my channel. But that's gonna be it, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.